A super special shout out to all my amazing members and patrons for going above and beyond in supporting the channel. If you want to join them, consider becoming a patron. The link as well as the associated perks are in the description down below. Hey everyone and welcome back to Ravenhurst mod. So it is the morning of Horde Night. Uh, we are going to do a little bit more of building. I need way more drinks. It's a shame you don't always get your jars back because I need those jars to be able to fill up more murky water. Unfortunately, the late game reward, like after you do this journal over here, you're going to get, you're going to make yourself the final stand quest, but you need the research desk. And then at the end of the final stand quest, then you get a reward with the empty jars and stuff. So it's still so far off, especially over here. I need to make the research desk so I can make the um, melee quests. Without that, we can't progress. But at the moment, like I said, we are stuck with that mask. So far, I don't know how many of you guys have been watching, but um, we are really, really in dire need of that hazmat mask. It's really keeping us up right now. In the beginning, it was always the... Ooh, hello. In the beginning, it was the wrench that kept us going because we needed the workbench to progress. I think it was like the first 10 episodes. And now we need the research desk. And this one's been a while. And even if I do the super infested or hyper infested, I only get these ones over and over and over. I just need that one headpiece and then we're done. The moment I can actually do, go, go for these tier 5 buildings, I'm immediately going for them. Okay, so... I'm just waiting for this to finish so I can put some more in over here. I need to go talk to the trader as well because these quests have reset. And I want to go put these down at the base. How much am I making? 16. No, 14. So I can go 7 over here so long. And I can make the others over here. Man, that's taking a while. Seven done. Boom. Oh, that was eight. Oh, yeah, there was one inside the uh, chest over here. I need to constantly make more and more and more. Obviously, we also need quite a bit of steel over here. So as we're going over here, I'll just... Oh. Ooh, okay. Damn, already 30 smelted. 30 of... Uh, yeah, 30 carbon gives us 200 steel, basically, it seems. And... Oh... This might just be ready in time for Horde Knight, so I can actually just go and upgrade that one block. This feels like a Wandering Horde. I don't think it is, it's too small. Especially compared to the Wandering Hordes we have been getting, but we still have to be very, very careful right now. Okay. I'm constantly so paranoid that I'm accidentally not recording correctly. Especially after I've already recorded the whole week's episodes to now find out that I did something wrong. Ooh, that's pain. Okay, we do this. So, um, I did say that there's going to be a full block over here still. It's going to be this block over here. See, there's only space for two ladders going down. I don't... Uh, technically, if I can get it two blocks away from there, that's even better. But for that to happen, we're going to have to do this. And make sure that I stop falling before I place a block. If you're pl uh, placing a block while falling, the game thinks you're trying to nerd pole and says, sorry. What's that noise? Oh, why are you smacking my wall? Okay, so that is done. Let's just quickly put the ladders in. And then I just have to put the back section in before Horde Knight. Do this. I'm going to put this one super close because I don't have enough concrete to actually do what I want to do. And then if we have enough concrete, I should probably also just do a little bit of a floor over here. One, two, three. One, two, three. See, if it's this far away, they'll stand here and they're less likely to hit this block. But if it's one closer, sometimes they stand on this block and they smack this walkway. That's one thing I really want to uh, try and prevent. And also, if it's this far away, it's easier for us to throw the Molotovs. If it's over here, this over section over here is actually blocking us. Before I forget, let's just quickly do this as well. Bars. No, why did I do that? That was a waste. That was such a big waste just now. I accidentally clicked when I wasn't supposed to. I, I was trying to left click, but I right clicked. Okay, so yeah, it's supposed to be this one. They jump over. And over here, we push them down to there. Technically, I should push them down probably over here. Yeah, I should do that. Um, even though we want to be able to shoot the zombies a little bit more. Catwalk. This block, I'm so glad that Iron Man actually found this. One of my members. If he, if he never found this, never showed this to me in my bases, most of my bases would have failed. Okay, so since the zombies are walking in that direction, 
This is not going to work because they're going to walk into it and jump over. You have to go with their walk. So if you do this, they're more likely to fall off. Because they're going to go, oh, there you are. Whoops. Imagine I just sprained my leg. <laughs> that would have sucked. Okay, so before Horde Knights, I have to make sure that this over here is steel. This is steel and perhaps the front row over there. Oh, I still have to put the roof in. I haven't done that yet. Oh, no. Um, I think for this side, as long as we put the top ones in and, and the top ones even over here, we can put the a middle in later. So if we put the top ones in over here, the zombies won't be able to fall down there and do damage when they're not supposed to be. Over here, technically I want another one. I'll just settle for slowing them down though. So we'll go and copy this one. Copy block. Do this. The moment they get there, they have to jump at least once to get over to me. And then we still have to go and put the full blocks over here. Copy shape. Copy rotation. See, there still needs to be like a whole row of blocks and stuff over here. I wonder if we don't have some cobble blocks left. But I think I, you, you wasted all of them down there. I should have upgraded this and just upgraded them. Or placed all of the cobble over here and upgraded them to brick. Because the vultures will definitely be the biggest problem for me during this horde night. At least the structure of this should be good. As long as I make this steel, that steel, that steel. And I make this uh, staircase double thick. We should be good to go for horde night. We are busy making some more concrete at the moment. And as long as I just loot... See, I'm very lazy sometimes. You can get jars from looting cabinets and stuff as well. But usually I leave the cabinets alone. The amount of cabinets I've left alone and that might have actually had... Oops, hello. That might have actually had some jars inside as bad. Oops. Oh, okay, I need to fill this up quickly. I just realized we're very low on fuel and stuff. Um, I also want to make myself a little bit of molot a few molotovs for night to burn the zombies. I don't want to just shoot because we're going to waste all of our ammo that way. Go gas them up. Repair. Let's go. And then over here, we're going to go and make ourselves some molotovs. Oh, wow. Wait, what are you guys smacking? Why were you smacking the wall? Okay, these stacks are getting a little bit full, so I can just go and do that. Or that. And do this. I'm going to sell the cash. I'm going to get a little bit more in there anyways. And then do this. Concrete block. Do this. Concrete block. And then over here... Do this. Need more iron. I need steel, man. Steel. But it, just the steel over here is going to take a long, 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 long time. It's 40 minutes. There you go. Every time I get back, I need to make sure I put more iron in. You know what? Do that so it's easier to just grab from this container over here. Okay. Okay. Let's quickly just eat and drink before we go. Um, I'm actually thinking of taking this one because it gives 22 food. And uh, it fills up all the way on water. Save As for the job, let's see. Clear zombies, never gain a high school. I'm actually interested in this or this one. It's going to be super dangerous, but the rewards might be really great. Because these have tier 5, those long chests. Um, That's just too far away. Will I have enough time to clear the whole high school? Because I'm just clearing the zombies. I'm not even going to go for the lockers. I have a well, alrighty then. Since we already have all the backpacks, there's no point. Also, these last 11 slots, I think I said that already, but after you do the final stand quest line, um, that actually unlocks you as well. So then you don't have to worry about carrying around uh, any steroids or anything anymore. I almost nubble, never double dip loot, but I think for this one I'm going to. Now, some of you guys might not like this at all, because I, like I said, I never do. I, that's why I play with loot respawn off. But since we really desperately need that hazmat mask, I want to see if I can't get lucky over here. It's not infested or anything, but we might still get lucky with the mask. She has no bears or anything on the side because I've had some interesting experiences in the past. This is the gym where the final stash is. Looky all the spiders. Do you think that's his face? He's just normal, so he should die. There's no more in the rafters. Oh, nope. Yeah, it definitely is. And there's going to be a few soldiers down here, but as soon as I'm done with them, we can quickly loot this place. I 
Oh, this is a tier 4, it's a short um, dash. But still, who knows? If I can get lucky, I can get lucky. No soldiers and stuff over here. Wait, what? Please, it has that mask. I'm begging. Nope. Rifles. I don't even need this stuff. Take this. Okay, that wasn't even worth it. Damn. We've also noticed on the server that the rewards from the trader really sucks. And the, the rewards from the, like, the Mackison chest and stuff really are awesome. So the moment you can do tier 5s, basically you just do the quest for the final stash. And obviously for the completion as well, because if you're lucky you can get the drone. I got a legendary one, level 1000 shotgun and uh, one of my members got a drone. Lucky. Lucky, lucky, lucky. Whoops. This is a tier 5 clear. So we shouldn't have to worry about infesteds. And because we are... Ooh, hello. Spoil for me, please. Spoil for me. I really love these stealth boots. He's on that side over there. Okay, I'm going to loot very little in this place because there's only some things I need. I need. Um, if I get to the kitchen, I might actually go in the kitchen and loot the jars and stuff. But other than that, there's nothing else we need. Oh man. I can get him outside and have him explode outside. Really don't want to do that right now because that's going to pull all the zombies in the area. It might be okay for this POI. Not all of them woke up over here. But the area is going to be very dangerous right now. Come on, come on, come on, come on, come on, come on. If all the tier 4s and 5s are this easy, or the tier 4s at least, then we should be able to progress really nicely. Just need the empty jars, nothing else. There's a kitchen or cafeteria upstairs as well that's really going to come in handy. It's the bookstore. There's very few zombies inside this place, I have to say. I mean, I'm so used to doing the infesteds where they're just all over the place. And this feels kind of nice. I think I'm actually also able... Yep. Hello. If you kill him, he's not going to surprise you when you drop down over there. He's just there for the surprise. Okay, so I need to make sure we also loot the desk because that's going to give us ink. Any books, any ink, any jars. Probably also make sure that I close off any doors and stuff. Oh boy. Look at my ammo. I'm gonna have to do a little bit more melee as well. Damn, I usually grab all my um, my ammo. This is the first time in a long time that I just forgot. I can hit them once, but then I also have to see if I can't get the uh, ammo back from the fort. I could go guns blazing, but do I really want to wake up this whole place? I mean, I could just as well, right? I'm going to need it for the gym. The gym have the, has the toughest zombies up there or in there, so... Yeah, I think I'm probably going to have to go rely on my spear and my shotgun for a, re uh, for a little bit. Sometimes it feels like my brain's just short-circuiting while I'm speaking. Okay. Untouched. Untouched. Oh, I uh, uh, looted, looted, looted. Not untouched. And then, let's see. Automatics. Wood cutting, mining, rifles, blunt weapons, scrap, read, read, read. Okay. We also have some drinks as well in case we run out of stamina, which is good. Hello, my friend. I'm definitely going to use a shotgun on you. We're going to be vaulters over here as well. Need to be careful.
Hello, dude. Don't start a fire right now. I told you not to start a fire. You just didn't listen. At least all the red dots have already woken up. That's awesome. <laughs> Idiot. I think you can also get jars from like the backpacks and stuff as well. So you fall down over here and then this dude surprises you. Not on my watch. Sometimes there's a loot bag over there. And then this kitchen area over here is the one I'm interested in actually. I think of the arrow back, damn it. Is that a wandering hall downstairs? That sounds like a wandering hall downstairs. As long as they don't interfere with me, I'm fine. Damn. I don't have the ammo to deal with like a wandering hordes and stuff now as well. If I can get my arrows back from these guys, it's already going to help us a little bit. I'm just going to shoot this place up if the Wandering Horde comes to me right now. I cannot afford anything else. At least we have the anti-rad mod on this. It doesn't feel like it sometimes. But this gun's good. As good as good as gun. Come on, we can do it, man. We're halfway through. Although, if the Wandering Horde breaks through to where we need to go, that's going to be a little bit more difficult for us. Only five areas left, which is not that much. Rifles, medicine... Okay, it's not all day that we can actually melee a zombie to death. Huh. Good. Very, very good. Especially if we can get that sneak attack in. Seems to help a lot. Hello. Ooh. Okay, yeah. Um. Thank you. Close that door. Even if I get stuck in a small room like this, it's fine. They have to bust down the door, so we just let them in and we run out. I'm actually regretting not taking the infested now. Just because I need that hazmat, man. I wonder in the last while how many times I've said hazmat. Is that just how important that is? That leads to the kitchen area. Hello, zombie. Oh, nice. That's definitely an help. More mur murky water we get right now. If I get to the base after this quest, we have to immediately make us some um, more concrete while we do the second quest. Then just before the horde, as long as I can upgrade everything that I need to repairing and upgrading, that's awesome. And they're broken. Yep, they broke in over here. There was a door very close by. Oh, they're only in the rafters now. And downstairs, so we should be safe over here. Ooh, hello, hello, hello. Just close that. Ooh, I just got 10 purification pulls. That is actually really, really good. We have hundreds of arrows at the base that are made. And I actually go and forget the arrow. Or forget the bolts, I mean. I made hundreds upon hundreds to make sure that I never run out. Sneak attack! One more zombie. One more zombie. There's way less zombies during this clear. Oh, no. Ah, uh, there you go. There's more dots. I was about to say there's way more zombies at the moment than there was with the... Free loot, but these zombies are also actually tougher. They're radiated. 
During the prelude, there were a few, I think a little bit more zombies in the rafters, but they were all weak. I just wish the hazmat dudes could drop more ammo and loot and stuff. Because if they could drop actually some hazmat pieces as well, that would be so much better. Okay, when I get back to the base, I have to make sure that I actually grab arrows for the next quest. And then I'm definitely going to loot all of this this time. The right glasses on. Okay, let's see what junk you have for me. Thank you. I called it even before I opened it. <laughs> it seems that infested caches is definitely the only way we can really make sure we get some uh, hazmat pieces. And even then, it's all about luck. That and obviously the drops as well. But unfortunately, my drops have been really horrible. I, I get the hazmat pieces, but it's definitely just not the pieces I want. Military footlocker. Imagine getting that last piece in there. Okay, so let's see what junk you're going to have us. Hot many things. Uh, okay, definitely need, need that just in case. Sledge we can sell or use later. Yeah, for now we're just going to go for stuff that we actually can sell to the trade as well. Ooh, 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 I need that. Uh, we can open that up, read that. We can drink that. SMG bundle. Hmm. Steel armor might be good for selling, but I'm not, I don't use steel. So let's go for concrete, because I definitely need the concrete for my build right now. That's awesome. Cash, we have quite a bit of cash. Let's go for the SMG bundle. I, I would go for the 4x4 bundle, but I mean, you still need everything anyways. Uh, you need to make it in the mech station, and we can't. We can't make that at the moment. Unfortunately, it's not a legendary bundle. Otherwise, that would be awesome. Okay, let me just quickly really restart and see what quest we're going to be able to get right now. I actually really like this menu art of here. Just a reminder for those of you guys new to the game, uh, this only works in single player. Now if you go to him, it's going to give you the next tier of quest. Tier 7. <laughs> oh! Tier 7, but super and ultra infested. I'm actually going to go for Big C Farm, a level 7 tier, five, uh, tier 3 quest. Big C Farm is close to us, so it's not too Can far to go. Thank you. But yeah, tier 7. <laughs> that is a massive bad mismatch right now. I just also realized, okay, we have a space over here. I forgot that the 97 is going to split in two stacks. So I just need to make sure that I didn't drop anything over here just now as a reward thingy. Okay, let's quickly go see if we can't make the concrete. But yeah, we just unlocked tier 7. I didn't even know that was a thing in the game. Comment down below, guys. For those of you guys also doing this in a single player, not a server, or if you're doing both, let me know. Do you also have this issue where the tiers are mismatched? So that says tier 7 quest, but we're doing a tier 3 building, for example. I know on a server, it actually does that. It does it right. Tier 1 for tier 1, tier 2 for tier 2, it does it right. But for some reason, I don't know, it's doing this weird thing for me. And I have seen other people get the, uh, the same issue, so it's not just me. But yeah, I, I don't know. I, I know TBF Gaming, for example, he also has the same issue as me. I don't know if it's because we updated like mid uh, series or something, and now there's a mismatch, or if the mismatch was there from the start. Let us know. So what I should probably do first, we're going to make sure that the top over here, oops, has the blocks all the way down, and then we can fill in the middle later. And then we're going to do the floor first. That's a full block, full block. Copy shape, copy rotation. I'll do two. We're just going to do this for now to have it go down all the way. And then this section over here we can fill in later. There shouldn't be, except for like perhaps a spider zombie, any zombies falling in over there right now. So everything should be good to go. Don't accidentally fall while placing. Before I place the other gooey center right now, I want to make sure, yeah, we have to expand the stairs quickly. I'll have to also put a full block in over there, but it shouldn't be necessary right now. Like I said, I don't want to have the ladder too close to that walkway so we can actually throw molotovs when we need to. And then over here, we'll go copy shape. Do that. Technically, what I could do over here is use the leveling hoe to make sure the zombies don't get stuck. At the moment, like for example, your mini bike can get stuck in between these blocks. The leveling hoe actually goes and 
Well, we can do this as well because it lifts it a bit. But what the leveling hoe does, it actually makes the dirt go over the block. So it looks like the dirt's actually going right over the block over here. You can lift the dirt like I'm doing right now, but it's not always going to work as well as you hope. It's a big waste of resources doing what I'm doing right now, but later I'm going to be so happy that I did it. If a demo or something destroys the top layer, there's still going to be at least one layer left. And then also because I extended the stairs over here, we're going to have to do this quickly. Be over there. Okay, so what I'm going to do over here is hatch. Hatch, hatch, hatch. We need a steel hatch. That's only 10. And then I need a door, but we can go for an iron door. Okay. And then we also need the cobble blocks. So that's going to go at the back of here. That should be enough for the roof. For the, uh, well, basically, we just want to have the vultures stay out. Oh, nice. That was a really great find. That's going to keep us quiet a little bit when we're going through POIs. Boom. Also, repair. I'm not going to take chances, even if it uh, degrades way faster now. I don't care. I want to make sure that I'm not accidentally using that. Tools, put that there. This is going to go to the horde base, so we put that with weapons. So for horde knights, we actually need this weapon. Uh, do we have any other automatics? I just realized we don't really have anything. Damn, I just realized we don't have anything. Can I make another AK? AK, AK, 47. Ooh, yeah, but we, oh, damn, I was so close to getting a nice one. Pump truck gun, that's far away. Yeah, okay, so we have the SMG, but that's about it. So we have to take some 9 mil ammo. 762, we could go in up a little bit. Uh, if we just use the automatic guns we have. Wait, where did I put you? Do, 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 do. I think it's probably on me. Do that. No. Oh, wow. Okay, yeah. I thought we at least have like an AK or something left. What about a pipe machine gun? Pipe. Machine gun, level 400. Not bad. Okay. I'd have to make sure that doesn't break though. And we have to put some mods in there too. So anti-rad mod. Barrel extender. This one. That if I can. Uh, I'm, I'm basically taking for all the weapons that I'm going to have on me. When I get back here after I drop the stuff off, I want to grab all of this in the bottom corner and just go. Also, I'm going to have to grab some ammo. I need to not forget about the ammo. Tier 4 super infestation. There's going to be bears over here. Just don't, please don't pop in too late. Like that. Okay, so let me just quickly jump up over here. Wait, how tough are you? Okay, these bears are going to be even tougher, so. Oof. Oh, no. I don't know if I'll be able to deal with him. Please don't see, uh, t uh, tell me he's going to see me. That is a, a, a terror, night terror. He's really, really, really bad news. He throws pipe bombs at you and that can start fires and just explode you, kill you. On the spot, dead. I'm just going to go into the house over here. Okay, point blank range does quite a bit of damage. But oh, it seems there's a wandering horde coming closer as well. That's a lot of nighttime zombies starting to spawn right now. We have to be careful of our level. And make sure I actually hear yeah, you die. Oh, that was a nice one. If he actually gets inside, we have a problem. Okay, I need to get all my arrows back. I'm wasting all these arrows, but I'm not killing them fast enough. Look at all those dots. Come on, reload, 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 reload. There's still a few zombies and stuff outside. I need to also go and see if I can't get those arrows back from the bears I just killed. It's already six. In four in-game hours, we have Ordnite. I should probably see if I can't get my stuff back outside. Things coming from now, uh, from upstairs, so I have to be careful. And 
late as usual. I'm in a little bit of a rush right now because I know it's getting very, very late. There's a zombie downstairs trying to get in. Okay. Oh crap, no, please don't, 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 please